Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I wanted to talk to you about accessing blocked websites. Now, I've been doing a series of videos on protecting yourself online, things like viruses, malware, etc. And I was very conscious when I started doing this uh, series of videos that I don't want them all to sound like sort of adverts. Yes, I am a geek ambassador for Hotspot Shield, but the reason I'm discussing it is to hopefully give you some information that will actually help you. Um, and the accessing blocked websites has affected me personally. So I wanted to share that little story with you and some other examples and then offer you up a solution. Now, where it's actually affected me personally was many, many years ago, uh, almost seven years ago in fact, I started doing YouTube videos. And um, about two years into doing YouTube videos, I won't go into all the details, but I found I was getting a lot of emails and messages from people in Germany and they were telling me they couldn't watch my videos. My content was blocked in Germany. Now I know the reason why, I won't divulge that in this particular video, but a VPN or virtual private network could actually solve that problem. I'll come into more details about that in a short while. And then moving uh, further afield, I had a friend that traveled around various countries and in some countries he found that Facebook was blocked. He couldn't update his Facebook status he wasn't trying to do anything dodgy. Um, he wasn't conducting business while he was traveling even. All he wanted to do was update his Facebook status to say, I'm here, I'm in Japan or Hong Kong or Australia, wherever he was, he just wanted to update his status. He couldn't because the website was blocked. And then more closer to home, my daughter goes to school. Now I agree, school is for studying. I understand why schools block certain websites, but in their own time, uh, it would be nice if they could watch a YouTube video or pop onto Facebook and relax. Maybe they've got that lunch break between lessons, but they can't because these particular websites are blocked. And then another example of how I was affected was when Hulu launched their service, I wanted to do a video on it. I couldn't because I wasn't in the right location. Well, that's where something like Hotspot Shield comes in. Now there are various other VPN services available, but Hotspot Shield is good because it offers you like a free service that's ad supported. And it also offers you a paid for service as well. So if you wanna get rid of the ads, you can pay a six monthly or a yearly subscription fee and get rid of the ads. And it allows you to set up a virtual private network and their sort of backend software then allows you to access blocked websites. So if you're restricted because of your location, you can get around that restriction. Now it does a lot more besides that, but that's not what this video is about. It actually protects you from malware, protects you from people trying to snoop on your information and a whole lot more besides. But certainly if you've been affected uh, by not being able to access certain websites, then it's well worth checking out. So that's it for this video. Please do hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next one.